Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Pudhuthaman and today in this video we are going to discuss about major symptom of CKD. As we have already discussed what is CKD and it causes on our previous video. So take your time to watch them and gain full knowledge about this disease. So let us start with the symptoms of CKD. Well it is not a normal disease, we already know that. But why it is caused? The real question arises here and the answer is quite simple due to ignorance of it causes like high blood pressure and diabetes everything start with small things same goes with ckd there are some common causes of ckd which leads to the major damage in the kidneys now when a person suffer from ckd body shows some symptoms and with the help of these symptoms a good doctor can judge what is going inside the body of a patient. These symptoms are very general like nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, fatigue and weakness, feeling cold and weight loss. Let's try to understand these symptoms of CKD. So the first symptom is nausea. It is caused with the low functioning of the kidney. Urea starts to gather inside the body which directly affects the brain and cause nausea and vomiting. The next symptom is feeling cold. Sometimes CKD patients feel cold even when the temperature is normal. This happens because the kidney patient faces low functioning of peripheral blood circulation. Reason behind low peripheral circulation is inactive vitamin D. Patient body has vitamin D but in the inactive form. Kidney activates the vitamin D. When a person suffers from CKD, kidney fails to activate this vitamin, causes symptoms of vitamin D deficiency like feeling cold and body pain, back pain, muscular pain. Another symptom is weight loss. One of the major symptoms that CKD patient faces is gradual weight loss due to loss in protein. The body can't maintain the energy in the muscles and body which results in weight loss in CKD patient. In the early stages of CKD, it is hard to observe or find the exact symptom of this disease. But if you are observing multiple symptoms mentioned above or a on a regular basis, you need to see your doctor and check your creatinine and urea level through KFT report. If the level are high and your doctor is suggesting you to for treatment, then go for it. Furthermore, if the condition of kidney get worse, then end stage renal disease can start and these symptoms create further complication in the life of a CKD patient. By further complication, we mean severe symptoms such as bad breath, anemia, muscle cramps, itchy skin, high blood pressure, swelling in the foot, protein loss in urine and shortness of breath. Now let us discuss these symptoms one by one too and then you will able to understand the reason behind this disease. So let's talk about bad breath. This is caused by accumulation of urea. Urea causes bad breath, fishy or metallic taste in mouth. Reason is urea is a nitrogenous waste and it smells like fish. Next symptom is anemia. This symptom can be seen in CKD patient when there is deficiency of erythropoietin hormone and loss of large amount of protein through urine. It is caused very often because your kidney is already damaged and cannot make more erythropoietin hormone in kidney. If you don't know about erythropoietin, let me explain. It is a hormone released by the kidney which work as a catalyst in red blood cell formation. Body needs iron, protein, folic acid and vitamin B12 along with the erythropoietin to form blood. Even if one item is short, blood won't be formed, person will be anemic. Next symptom is swelling in the foot or in the medical term we call it pedal edema. Causes behind these symptoms are low protein in blood and low kidney output. When a person suffers from CKD, protein loss is a common symptom. And when you are losing protein on a daily basis, your body becomes protein deficient. Protein present in the blood also become low. Blood become thinner 
and fluid present in the blood seeps into the lower part of the leg. Due to accumulation of this fluid, swelling around legs can be seen in a patient of CKD. As I told you earlier, pedal edema is a CKD symptom, but it was a caused by ignorance of a, another symptom and that is protein loss through urine. In normal individual, protein in urine is nil. In a patient of CKD, because of damage to kidney, protein loss in urine is common. This protein in urine makes urine frothy and turbid. Now let's move to next symptom and that is shortness of breath. When a person is anemic or there is an extra accumulation of fluid inside body, it's become difficult for a patient to breathe. A red blood cell carries oxygen around body. When the body has low blood cell, it means body has low oxygen, which causes difficulty in breathing. And this condition remains persistent throughout time, no relief in any position. But when a patient feels like drowning or shortness of breath while lying down on bed, this condition is caused when extra fluid present in the leg reaches lungs. When a patient takes rest in supine position. All these symptoms are interconnected and a patient of CKD can have a life without complication only if he or she works on improving kidney functions. Now watch a testimonial. I will be back after that. What's your name? Ayalo Haile. And from which country you belong? Ethiopia. 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 Eth Ethiopia in Africa. Ethiopia, East Africa. Okay. So when the kidney failure was diagnosed, what was the level? 6.9. 6.9. Yeah. And what is the level now? Now 5.7. And how many days this level? Almost. 25 days Within around. 25 days, you have your kidney level decreased from 6.9 to 5.8. That's yeah. a very beautiful thing. That means your kidney has been improved by 10%. Okay. okay. Now, uh, your BP is quite high. It's very important for you to understand why this happened. Okay. So, as I can see in your history, the blood pressure level was quite high before coming to here. Now it's normal, but before it was like uh, 160 by 110. And when the blood pressure increases, it causes impact in the kidney. When the blood enters into the kidney with a high pressure, it causes impact. Like a river which is flowing on a regular day, it doesn't harm the banks. But when the floods are in the river, what happens? There is erosion of the banks. There is destruction at the banks also. So what happened in the inside the body when the blood pressure increases? the blood enters into the kidney with force, right? And when it enters with the force, what happens? It collides with the sides of the vessels and it harms the banks, you know, borders of the vessel. And as the structure becomes damaged, it becomes hard. As it becomes hard, the size of the kidney shrinks. That's why your kidney has been shrinked by 30%. Both kidneys are shrinked by 30%. The normal size of a kidney is 10 cm and your size is 6.9 cm. That means around 30% there is a shrinkage. Okay. Now, if we want to control the level of creatine in your body, we have to control the blood pressure. If the blood pressure remains normal, there will be no further impact to the kidney. And when there is no further impact to the kidney, the creatinine level will remain decreased in a lower form. Okay. Now, there is one more problem in your body and that is diabetes. You are on insulin. You are taking 20 units of insulin daily basis. So, you have to take care of your diabetes also. You have to keep your sugar level around 180 or below. Either it's fasting, PP or random. It should be below the level of 180. So, at home, you have to take care of two things. First is? First, blood pressure. Blood pressure. Second is? Sugar. Sugar. Two things in check. What will happen? There will be no further damage to the kidney. Got my point? Third thing is very important and that is the level of bicarbonates. Because your level is reached up to 6. At, at this level what happens? There is a condition which is known as metabolic acidosis. It starts happening. And for that purpose, you have to take sodium bicarbonate on a regular basis. 
if we keep three things in check there will be no further damage to the kidney okay so are you happy with the treatment yeah very happy very happy yeah and what kind of treatment you have taken earlier four months of medicine four four months of medicine you have yes. taken yeah and uh, galvasment and uh, preparation medicine okay all me no results before no results yeah so doctor told you to have you have to go for dialysis or transplant something like that Almost, yeah doctor decides dialysis okay uh, dialysis and transplant transplant yeah and where it was uh, you know advised in india or in ethiopia uh, my one friend advised go to india okay just check. in ethiopia it was you know advised to go for dialysis or transplant yeah. then one of one of the your friend advised you to go to come here india yes before uh, one uh, friend is coming india uh-huh. almost herbal medicine okay check. okay so that that person that friend that has person, advised you yeah advice for me okay now you are happy with the treatment yes i am very can, happy very happy now you can advise other kidney failure patient to do something yeah this or this medicine or or very nice good treatments good advice so we, we have seen the level of treatment can be brought down with a time span of 15 to 20 days it's very simple what we have done in the patient that we have increased the kidney function and the kidney function can be easily increased because kidney has special power to increase its function now let me give you an example suppose in a person one kidney got damaged because of infection or stone so we have to remove one kidney even after having a single kidney the level of creatinine and urea doesn't increases now the question arises why this happened because kidney has ability to increase its functions we have to use this ability of kidney to increase its function in each and every kidney failure patient so that the level of the creatinine urea can be easily reduced and we have done the same thing with you we have increased the kidney functions as the kidney function increases the level you have seen it's already down now for lifetime you have to take care of bp and sugar so that no further damage to the kidney happens as you saw in the video that when we work on the gfr it improves plus the level of creatinine and urea also goes down resulting in lesser complication in a life of a ckd patient in the last i want to say if you want to improve your gfr start working on your kidney and the causes behind the ckd till then take care and bye see you in the next video